All right, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the most tender pot roast that shreds super easy. Okay, so I'm starting off with a two pound beef chuck roast. I'm putting it in the crock pot. This is frozen solid. I literally, I literally just put it in here. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead and turn that to high and let me show you what I put in it. Okay, so I'm going to be putting in some beef stock. You can see this is the unsalted. Usually I get the one with salt. This is just all they had at the store. So I'm gonna put about half of this in here. I'm just gonna get all that flavor right on that and let it soak in. Yeah, so that's about half. Okay, so now we're gonna season it. Of course, you can season it however you like. I'm gonna be putting some meat tenderizer, some salt, and some pepper. Okay. As you can see, this is a very professional video and I measure everything out perfectly. <laughs> okay, put some pepper. Okay, let's put the lid on and we will come back to this in a little bit. Okay, I am adding two pounds of baby carrots. It's been about an hour that it's been in there. I put in the wash and ready to eat, so I don't even have to wash them. I just threw them right in there. Okay, guys, it has been about five and a half hours. I'm going to check on it. it oh, oh, it smells so good. Okay, we are going to cut it here. And we're going to check it. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. It is not that fall apart consistency yet, so I'm going to keep cooking it. So my plans change pretty often throughout the day. So I started it off on high. I cooked it on high for like 45 minutes to one hour. Then I switched it to low because I was like, oh, we're not coming right home after school. We're going out. But then plans changed again. <laughs> so I turned it back on high. So this total cook time right now is about five and a half hours. Um, you do what you need to do, but I am going to keep this in here. Look how much water, because it was frozen solid. Look how much the um, liquid level rose. I'm going to add some more spices, because you can't go wrong with more spices. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit more. Oh, well, that came out a little faster than I thought, because I used the wrong side. So <laughs> we added some more meat tenderizer, a little bit more salt. A little sprinkle of pepper to just mix that all in there, all that goodness. Oh, I'm even gonna turn all these pieces of meat. Yeah, I cut the meat too because I just feel like it soaks up the juices better and um, it just cooks it nicer. So, all right, we are gonna leave that cook longer and We'll be back. Okay, so it's been eight hours of total cook time in the crock pot. And I think it's ready. So what I'm gonna do is put it all in this bowl. I actually already started to test it. And then I'm gonna show you what I do to get it nice and shreddy. Okay, so what I do is I put it in a pot. As you can see, I already kind of started. But basically, you just get your mixer. <laughs> and it kind of just falls apart. Be careful, you will get the uh, stray piece that likes to fly out of the bowl. Look at this. I still have a little bit to go, but for purposes of the video, let me just show you. Look at this. 
falls apart nice and easy look at that it's so shreddy nice and juicy oh i mean that is delicious look at that look how shreddy and this is the final product you can see i got some corn some mashed potatoes and you have to have an awesome gravy look at that it just falls apart it is so juicy so tender so that is how you make awesome pot roast please share the video thanks for watching